So here we are, we're in Addis Ababa um, and as you can see we're getting lots of Hello. local culture here and we're here for a project to actually help with physics um, training, physics teaching. <laughs> <laughs> we're here for a joint project all about physics teaching and over here we have all the other people involved in the project. <laughs> we have two representatives from the Institute of Physics who've been here a number of times before, Bill Poole and Christine Cleave. And then we've got Jared, Emma, Jeremy, and Tiago. We arrived here on Friday, we were fairly tired, so we spent most of the day looking around various different historical sites in Addis Ababa. food reservation room but I guess maybe it's food preservation room. These hooks are used to, to store slabs or to hang up slabs of raw meat and that raw meat is actually eaten raw as well so it's um, culturally it's very very interesting. It's really amazing, really, really fantastic. Beautiful view behind us. So tomorrow we will head down south of Addis Ababa to a place called Adama, and that's where the physics teacher training is gonna happen. And um, I'm sure Sean is gonna be filming us along the way. This me, for me? Come, nice here. Okay, okay, go over here. He reckons it's a fantastic view from down here. Wow! Nice. Wow! Wow! What's your name? Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So Malacca here has um, taken us down to, to a, a place where there's just an absolutely astounding view right across Addis Ababa in the distance and just the, the wonderful, beautiful, beautiful landscape. It's fantastic. I'm a bit exhausted after <laughs> trying to keep my balance going down there, but it's, it's, it's a really, really impressive view. Thank you. Thanks, Malaco. What's the verdict? Oh, it's damn good. <laughs> I need that. We've arrived at Goro, I'll try and get the pronunciation, apparently you meant to roll the R, I'm not very good at rolling R's, um, can barely pronounce R's at the best of time, but here, as you can see at Goro Preparatory School, this is why we're here to do a training course for, you can see the teachers who are all around, and we're going to be involved in sharing what we do in terms of experimental physics, and you know, I'm sure we'll get some insights from them as well in terms of how they teach physics. What's remarkable is that the teachers have come from 11 different regions, some of them as, as far away as 1,000 kilometres or maybe even 1,500 kilometres. So it's, it's a big event for them and it's a big event for us as well. No, no pressure for No pressure at all, no Sean, absolutely no pressure. <laughs> is that Richard Feynman was a theoretician. So he writes down his theories, and then ex people who do experiments come along and check his theories. The 
apparatus and the apparatus and from a knowledge scale by uh, uh, you uh, comes from England some knowledge again and how can you use the material uh, for me especially electric circuits how we connect it, uh, and how we can amplify and do and those are so much interesting for me When we plot experimental data, we plot it as points. We don't join up the dots because there are no measurements between those points. So we plot the points and then we draw a fit line through those points. And um, it's, it's a bit of a bugbear of mine. It's a minor thing, but a bit of a bugbear. So it's going really, really well. This morning we did a number of presentations just about the scientific method and about experimental methods in general. We did a um, really nice session on Hooke's Law, which is really straightforward, just a mass on the end of a spring, measuring the extension and getting in the ideas of plotting a graph, etc. And then we also did a re another really nice experiment was the little cars going down a slope in terms of acceleration and thinking about how we'd plot a graph to work out the acceleration. Now we're playing with slinkies and we're going to wander upstairs and see exactly what they're doing with slinkies. So when I send a pulse this side, it reflects back on the other side. So I'm just okay, really, okay. really impressed by how Christine is putting this across, just in terms of longitude and transverse waves, concept of energy and how the speed changes with the, the, the mass per unit and the tension, etc. We are going to try and repeat the wonderful slinky experiments that Christine did. We, we swap rounds, so we demonstrate different experiments throughout the day. And at the moment, I'm unraveling a slinky, and I'm finally nearly about to... How do you disentangle this bloody thing? Do you know how amazing I was saying slinkies were before, Sean? Yeah. They're not. <laughs> Watch how long it takes for the, this pulse to die down. Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. As soon as you give it to a student like me, this happens. It's a matter. Yeah. But from this, uh, we can understand that teachers, if they are interested, they can do a lot of activities with the materials available yeah. in their surroundings. Yeah, water bottles, strings, stones, they can all be used, can't they? Yes, Absolutely. yes definitely. What's the best thing you've done so far? The best thing? The best thing? Yeah. <laughs> Just enjoying is doing experiments. <laughs> We must connect multimeter in We can work out how thick this line is in terms of the area, so how many layers of atoms there are um, on this uh, page. First finger is the field. So what you do when you make these measurements, it's essential that you, for example, hold it and then do that, make one measurement, make another measurement, make another measurement, at least three measurements. It's going okay, I think. There was some confusion at the start, I don't think I explained it quite as well, like they didn't quite get the point. Uh, to it. So I had to explain a couple of times why we're plotting the graph and not just calculating the values, but they're getting on with it and they're getting the practice and that's the important thing. The wetness of the material is going to represent its temperature. 
So we are transferring the water into the sponge, so the equivalent of transferring the heat energy into the material. I am an electron in the valence band. I can't go anywhere. They're all in the way. There's no way I can get, I can go. If I'm here, no electrons. I'm free to move. So three measurements is okay, five measurements is good, ten is even better. Have you done anything like this before? No, no matter. Have no matter. No matter. So it's the end of the second day. It's I'm fairly tired. The rest of us are fairly tired, but it's such a such a privilege to be here. The enthusiasm, the love of learning, the love of knowledge is, is fantastic. Been asked so many questions. Emma's experiment on graphite went particularly well. Tiago's experiment went well. Jeremy's been having fun, so much fun playing around with electronics, which he loves. And Jared's enthusiastically helping out right across the board. It's wonderful here. Um, the heat is oppressive. <laughs> I sweat all the time. Um, and when you're continually concentrating and running from place to place all day, it, it can be quite exhausting, but it's a good type of exhaustion. And when you get to the end of the day, yeah, you know, it's been, it's been good. I think we've achieved something. So we, a lot of the time, have to shout above the din of this in the background. But um, that's no bad thing. <laughs> Thanks to God. Ah, okay. Thanks to God. Xavier. Xavier. Yimeska. Yimeska. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks to God. In the circuit, the longer pin is the positive side. We know that magnetic field lines means a line that represents the magnetic field strength around a magnet. Can everyone see? Can you see? Can you see the water? Hair or clothes? Yeah? 
Yeah, you see? Yes. <laughs> the pressure inside here and the difference of the environmental pressure. to some extent. If, it, if black objects were wrapped around this glass, this absorbs uh, more energy. So 6.6, 10.5. So we've now got to the end of the training course at Adama. We're travelling back from Adama to Addis and we've stopped midway between Adama and Addis. It's absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. You can hear you listen as well. Delighted at how well the course has gone but rather disappointed that I missed the last two days of it because I was rather ill. It's just fantastic here, it's just sort of everything you think Africa would be. Jeremy here is paddling away and driving us in roughly the right direction. <laughs> We've had such a great time exploring the environment here. It's just, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. So it's come to an end, we're flying home, we're all extremely knackered, extremely exhausted. It's been uh, immensely fun, it's been immensely um, enjoyable. I hope what we've done has been worthwhile, we certainly want to continue links. I think the teachers got a lot out of it. The only disappointment for me was because I got sick, I really wish that hadn't happened. And I've also mucked up Sean's continuity because I've had a shave really sorry about that but my face was so sweaty I had to have a shave anyway going home I'll miss Ethiopia but I must admit what I won't miss mosquitoes really won't miss the mosquitoes Everyone's finishing and they need to do more. We need more elements. 13 months. Ah. So, so it's aluminium sunshine then, yeah? Ah. Aluminium's 13 because there are 13 months in the Ethiopian calendar.